Now to the coronavirus battle in Maryland. It was another deadly day in our state. The latest numbers from the state health department show an increase of over 2,800 cases in the past day. The hospitalizations and the positivity rate are down, while the number of deaths went up by 60. And the rising numbers come as more than 14,000 people in Maryland have gotten their first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. There are limited doses, but vaccinations continue today for key personnel. WJZ is live. Ava Joy Burnett breaks down who's getting vaccinated right now as more people test positive for the virus. Ava Joy. Good afternoon to you both. While well, we keep checking those figures, at this point, 14,103 people have been vaccinated for COVID 19, and those are frontline workers, like first responders and people who work in healthcare facilities. Of course, this is a very big deal for the state. Maryland's coronavirus cases jumped overnight to more than 260,000 positive cases. The positivity rate dropped. Hospitalizations also dropped. But 60 more people died in the last 24 hours. Another key set of numbers to watch out for are the vaccinations. In just a matter of days, more than 14,000 Marylanders have gotten their first dose. This is what it looks like in Anne Arundel County this morning as healthcare workers, some of whom are out administering the vaccines, also got the shot. And so it's real important because they are are out there potentially being exposed to get them vaccinated first. And these were the images in Baltimore County last night. And I'm excited because this is a game changer and we're going to win this war. Baltimore County's health officer said within hours of getting the Moderna vaccine, frontline workers were in line. I am so excited at this particular time. It's like being in a battle or a war and you're losing and people are dying and then you hear the Calvary. The Calvary today is that vaccine. Along with health care workers, residents at senior living facilities are also among the first in the state to get vaccinated. And of course, one more thing that we want to talk to you about. There are two types of these vaccines, one from Pfizer, another one from Moderna. So if you got a dose today or yesterday, you'll have to have a follow-up within 21 or 28 days. Live at 4, Average Way Burnett for WJC. Have a joy, thank you. More grocery store pharmacies are picking up the coronavirus vaccine. Giant food pharmacies in D.C. will supply shots to healthcare employees who work in senior group home settings. Immunizations start as soon as this Saturday. Giant says it's thankful it can be a part of history to help frontline workers stay healthy. Restaurants in Baltimore City will stay closed for indoor and outdoor dining. A judge denied a request for a temporary restraining order with restrictions to in person dining due to a spike in COVID cases and hospitalizations. The Restaurant Association of Maryland filed the suit last week asking for capacity limits to be set to the same levels that Governor Hogan's latest order states. In Anne Arundel County, restaurant owners and workers are fighting to keep the doors open. Earlier this month, the county executive tried to put an end to indoor dining. Restaurant workers filed a lawsuit to stay open, and a judge overruled the county executive's order. They won, at least for now. There's another hearing Monday. Merck reached a deal with the U.S. government to supply a promising new investigational coronavirus drug. The drug has shown nearly early promise in treating patients already sick with COVID-19. The U.S. Department of Health says patients who received a single dose were 60 percent more likely to recover. That if the FDA grants emergency youth authorization, Merck would deliver 100,000 doses by the end of June 2021.